Okay class, uh, this is going to be chapter 6 review and this is probably going to end up being uh, separated into two or three parts just because I have to keep the videos uh, to about 10 minutes. So be looking for these other parts of the videos um, right below the other. So the first one we're going to work on here is number one. So to do number one, they're asking you to graph the system of equations. So you have two systems of equations here. So the first one is the top one and then the next one is the bottom one. So I'm going to find the x, y, and z intercepts for the first one. Z intercepts, sorry. So the first thing you want to do is you want to plug in 0 into the y and to the z to find your x intercept. So the first one's going to be 10 x plus 6 times 0 plus 5 times 0 equals 30. I know that some of you guys have already worked through problem number one or you may already know how to do this one so you're welcome to skip through the video. Um, that's the good thing about the video that you can skip forward and you can skip through as much as you can. So then here we plugged in 0 into the y and 0 into the z. So this is going to let us find our x-intercept. So 10x equals 30. So x equals um, 3. So the x-intercept is going to be 0. So 3, 0, 0. For the y-intercept, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to plug in 0 into the x and 0 into the z. So that's going to be 10 times 0 plus 6y plus 5 times 0 equals 30. So notice that when I want to find the y-intercept this time, I'm plugging in 0 into my other variables. And that's because when you have your y-intercept, the other values for the other variables are 0. So this is going to let us find the y-intercept. <clears throat> so here we're going to see that it's going to be 5. So the y-intercept is at 0, 5, 0. Okay, now for the z-intercept, you would plug in 0 into the y and 0 into the x, and that would let you find z. But if we cover these two, it's pretty much going to end up doing what we do when we plug in 0. It's going to zero them out. So if we cover them and solve for z, we see that we end up getting z equals 6. So if we were to do that, the z-intercept would end up being 0, 0, 6. Alright, so that was just me covering the values to represent me plugging in 0. <clears throat> now I can go ahead and graph this first equation. So the first one I'm going to graph it by plotting each of the intercepts. So the first one is 3, 0, 0. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3 right here. Notice that I'm doing it on the x-axis. The next one is the y-intercept. It's at 0, 5, 0. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 5. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to be right here. And the other one's going to be at 0, 0, 6. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 right here. Okay, so now I connect these three points. And if I connect them, if I connect them, I end up forming my plane, which, as you guys remember, it's in the shape of a triangle because of our two-dimensional paper. Now I'm going to go ahead and find the x and y intercept for my second equation. So for my second equation, um, I'm just going to, instead of plugging in zeros, I'm just going to cover them so I can represent me plugging in zeros that way. So if I want to find my x-intercept, I can just cover the y along with the 15 and the z, and that represents me plugging in zeros. So I can see that if I divide 30 by 6, I get 5. So the x-intercept for this second equation is 5. So I'm going to just do that over here. So my x-intercept is going to be at 5. Now for the y-intercept, I'm going to cover my x and my z. And I'm going to see that 15y equals 30. 
So if I divide both sides by 15, I get y equals 2. So my y-intercept is at 2. So I'm going to go and look at the y-axis, and it's going to be here. And the last one, I'm going to cover the other two to find z. That's going to be 5z equals 30, so z must equal 6. So this is going to be at 6, which is also going to be right here. So now I connect these three. And now here I see that the blue plane is crossing into the path of the red plane, so they're intersecting. So the intersection is, if you notice down here, this kind of tells you where they intercept. And up here it tells you that they intercept. So we can draw a straight line from here to here. And this line kind of shows where they're going to intercept. So if you could actually see these online, you could see that the line represents where they intercept. So when they ask you what's the shape of the intersection, it's the line. So to answer this question right here, you would write a line. Okay. So that's the answer for the question here where it asks what this, what's the shape of the intersection. Alright, so that's problem number one. And now we move on to problem number two. So problem number two, you need to solve the system of equations below and then check your solution in each equation. Be sure to keep your work well organized. <clears throat> so let's go through solving these first. So the first thing you can do is pick two, equation, pick two equations that you want to work with. So let's say I pick these two right here. So I'm going to pick those two first, the top two. I'm going to add them in a way that I can get one of the variables to eliminate. So right here I say I see that if I manipulate the two equations I can get the y's to eliminate. I'm just going to choose the y's to eliminate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write them over here. So x plus 2y minus z equals negative 1. 2x minus y plus 3z equals 13. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply. Let's see, I'm going to multiply this one by 2. And then I'm going to add it to this equation. So after I multiply this equation, I'm going to add it to the top equation. And that's going to end up giving me, so this is 2x times 2, that's 4x plus x, that's 5x. So let me put this line here. So that's 5x. Uh, this negative y is going to become negative 2y, and when I add it to this one, it's going to be 0. And this 3z is going to become 6z, and when I add it to this one, it's going to become 5z. And right here, this is going to become 26, plus negative 1 is 25. Okay, now that you have this, now that you have this equation, we're going to work with this one in a little bit, so I'm going to write it over here. So 5x plus 5z equals 25. Now, pick two other equations. So I'm going to pick these two now. I'm going to pick the middle one and the bottom one now. So I'm going to work with these two, 2x minus y plus 3z equals 13, x plus y plus 2z equals 14. So I notice that if I add these two, remember you want to eliminate the same two variables that you eliminated up here. So up here we eliminated the y's, so right here you want to eliminate the y's as well. But right here I don't have to multiply by anything, I can just add them and the y's will eliminate. So when I add them, I'm going to get 3x, the y's eliminate, plus 5z equals 27. <clears throat> so now you, you notice that this equation that I got and this equation that you got right here both contain the x's and the z's. That's good, that's what we want. So 3x, now this should be 3x, 
plus 5z equals 27. Now you want to eliminate one more variable from these two. So now we want to work with these two and we want to add them. But before we add them, um, let's say we want to eliminate the z's. Let's multiply this one by negative 1 and then add it to the top one. So this 3x is going to become negative 3x and when we add it, it's going to become, we're going to have left over 2x. Negative 5z is going to add to this one, that's 0. And negative 27 plus 25 is going to end up with negative 2. So now when we solve for x, we get x equals negative 1. Now that we found x, we can go and plug it back into one of these two because we only have to figure out z after we plug it in. So I'm going to use the bottom one right here. So I'm going to use 3x plus 5z equals 27. So I plug in negative 1, so it's going to be 3 times negative 1 plus 5z equals 27. So 5z equals, this one becomes negative 3 plus 5z equals 27. Let me continue over here. So now I add 3 to both sides, so I get 5z equals 30 and z equals 6. Now that I have z and x, I can plug them into one of the equations that I started with. So I'm going to pick the first one. So now I say, okay, well, x plus 2y minus z equals negative 1. I know what x is already, it's negative 1. I know what z is already, it's 6. So now I'm going to solve for y. So I'm going to add 1 and 6 to both sides, so that's going to be adding 7. So when I add 7 to this side, I'm going to end up with 6. And finally, when I divide by 2, I'm going to end up with 3. So now I can find my coordinate of the intercept is going to be negative 1, 3, and 6, which is what I saw some of you guys getting. All right, I'm going to stop the video now, and I'll continue on the second part.